you ever read the Bible and a verse just kind of stops you? Check this verse out in James 1, 2, and 4. It says, Dear brothers and sisters, when trouble comes your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you'll be perfect and complete, needing nothing. Now I'm not sure about you, but this makes me scratch my head. This is not one of those verses I print out, hang on my wall, and memorize and claim over my life daily. It's just one of those verses that you ask James, are you sure you meant to say what you just said? See, it seems like an oxymoron kind of statement. You know the phrases that make zero sense when you put them together. Statements like clearly confused, government intelligence, bureaucratic efficiency. No, but seriously, James is saying to rejoice in your trials and for my human brain, trials is a negative thing. But as I get older, I have learned that going through trials and failing is not always a bad thing. Some of the best things in my life have come through a bad situation that God used for my good and His glory. See, many of you, when I say Chick-fil-A, you automatically think of a chicken sandwich or their amazing chicken nuggets with your favorite sauce. Yeah, okay, so everybody's hungry now. But what I want you to realize is that this idea of a chicken sandwich came out of some painful experiences. If you don't know, Truett Cathy is the man that started Chick-fil-A. Here's a quick story about him. You see, him and his brother started a restaurant called Dwarf Grill in Hatfield, Georgia. It was a 24-hour-a-day restaurant that was open six days a week. But Mr. Cathy lost two of his brothers in a plane crash, one of them being his business partner. And after making it through that, he had opened an additional restaurant, and within a year, it burned to the ground, and he barely had any insurance on it. So that within weeks of that loss, he found out he had polyps on his colon, and two surgeries were required in a long stay-at-home recovery period. So many of us would be tapping out about now, begging God for some kind of relief from this craziness, but Mr. Kathy never gave up and began dreaming up his next dream while in bed recovering, and out of that, the chicken sandwich was born. Now, one, now it's one of the largest privately owned restaurant chains in the world, and it came out of trials. See, I tell you all this to say never complain or give up in a storm. You never know what God can do through your trial. Romans 8, 28 says this, and we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to His purpose for them. You never know the eternal impact you could have on someone's life when you rejoice through your trial and they see what God can do through even the toughest situations. Or even better, God could be growing you to a deeper understanding of His will for your life. See, allow your endurance to grow through the trials in your life. Trust that God will see you through and is working everything together for your good and His glory.